Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. Don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind. If you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. You could always thumbs up, a heart, any and everything helps with the algorithm as long as you're positive. Let's get to it. Usher talks about the Super Bowl, Kiki Palmer, the concert, and I'm not Mr. Steel, yo girl, that's Trey Song. He's basically saying he's don't leave your woman around me. <laughs> because women are going to want to flirt but would they actually want to be in a relationship with him so I'm happy that he's doing the Super Bowl congratulations to him I do wish he would made a different short choice in regards to who he did the ad with his choice though all the other people aren't trying to outshine him in regards to the Super Bowl because TMZ threw a little shade and saying oh in sync, uh, Destiny Child won't be there. We don't know who he's gonna select, and I'm sure the selection, and there's gonna be whispers about it three or four months before the actual Super Bowl. But many people are like, "Why now? Why it took so long?" Well, this is the biggest thing. Seven, eight, nine years ago, he was in the media in not so good of a way. His residency in Vegas did extremely well. And this is the biggest thing, that the Kiki Palmer thing trended. And I think that was um, a thing to boost her career. I do. Because it's being reported that she's back with her boyfriend. Which is a good thing. None of us want to see the family break up. You know, a guy can have a comment in regards to how he feels about his woman. Many people were calling the Darius a, a, a loser. Uh, um, uh, uh, F-boy. They were calling him a bunch of stuff. I wish she would have never made the comment, but people like things for clicks and views. Kiki Palmer also commented on Krishan. So there's certain celebrities that want to keep their name in the media. They do. So when she wore the dress, she knew that was going to get some attention. How she reacted when he came close to her, she knew that was going to get some attention. I think she is doing stuff for clickbait, clicking a view, and for a response. Because as you see, every month she's saying something, doing something to boost her career, to stay in the media. We see it all the time. So then you have, she went to the show, he made a comment, hey, you're a mom. And then, you know, people reacted. It's like, don't body shame her. Then she did a video with Usher. Was that plot planned after? Because that was done quick. But they did a video together. So he's on the Breakfast Club and he's talking. I want to play the clip, but I don't want to get a strike. But yeah, they're basically talking to him about the whole situation. He was basically like, hey, if your girl's with me, you should just come to the show. And you should be there. And then she should tell me no. Or she should tell me this is my man. There are signals that women make with the men. This is the biggest thing. The Kiki Palmer thing trended. There was a model that went with her boyfriend, I think, Kuz. And she was like, mm -mm, she sat on his lap. <laughs> so it all started with who? He was dancing with somebody. And everybody's like, oh, okay, he's in the crowd. Nelly. I think I did a video on that. It started, and there might have been others. I just noticed the Nelly thing. So more and more people start showing up towards the end because they knew the residency was going to end. And these Famous people want clicks, views, and they want to stay trending. So he was talking with Nelly, dancing with Nelly, and then Kim tried to go twice. That in trend. Um, there were so many that went, um, and they had a good time. I'd say the Kiki Palmer thing trended. So um, let me see. I'm trying to think of. Yeah, they're talking with the Breakfast Club. We're not going to show that. 
So, of course, everybody's been talking about Usher headlining the Super Bowl halftime performance. Fans have divided response. Well, my divided response is he was getting backlash in regards to choosing Kim because Kim just continues to wear Balenciaga and we understand what Balenciaga, the ad, was concerning. So many people are giving him backlash about Kim and not choosing a woman of his culture, his race, and that's in the same profession or somebody he's cool with or close with. Because many people are like, the K's and the J's are going to use that to promote, to um, stay relevant when you have other people that's seeking that. I would have understood if it was even Kiki, that would have been better. But I guess he had already used her in his song. Many people are like, no, nah, Usher, you did you did wrong. You did left. Because the K's and the J's use media weekly. They're in the media weekly. They're in the media weekly. Looking for attention. Looking to shade people. I really feel bad for Courtney. Kim needs to stay away from Courtney. I remember listening to her. She made a call to Courtney. Are you happy? She said, yeah, I'm happy as long as I'm not talking to you. You know, did he not see how she treated how she treated Kim treated Kanye did he not see how Kim treated Courtney did he not see how Kim talked about Lamar and Black China did he not see all that did he not see how she's been treating Ray J and continuing to talk about the tape for alleged tape sales that's so weird to me that's so weird to me so if he getting backlash it's because of Kim well wishes on his is is his his, huh, his halftime show I hope he goes well unless he three, four months before who he decides to do that with. Of course, this is them on the Breakfast Club and they're talking to um, Usher about, you know, people going to his residency. And then this is Usher reflecting on the drama in regards to Kiki Palmer. I'm not Mr. Steal Your Girl. That's Trey Songs, And we get it. And then in regards to, it's being reported, Kiki Palmer says, mind y'all business, good. And being asked about her relationship status with Darius. They're a young family. She needs the assistance. She needs the help. The biggest thing is they have to make a choice for themselves to try and keep their family together. There's so many broken families in the industry. If they can make it work, make it work, girl, please. Over a, over a text message. Be because when you think about it, she is a mom. <laughs> what did he say wrong? Saying it was wrong. He could have just texted her. He didn't have to post it for the world to see. But the biggest thing is, guys are going to try to protect their woman and say, hey, you know, you, you, you're you so excited about being there and I'm not there and I'm home with the child. That's basically what that message was. But he still posted it. And maybe he did text her and say something. What well, wishes? And maybe he was mad for a few days. But she did a recent interview who was with Hoda and that one girl? Yeah, did the interview. She's in a white outfit. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.